Greetings everyone, my name is Ari Steele and welcome back to Torment of Dark Sorrow. In our last adventure, our character here was captured for reasons unknown to this horrifically beautiful castle and now we are trying to find our means of escape through intricate puzzles and some grotesque figures that we've come across so far. Now, last episode I was going through this area and I was confused as to where to go. Turns out I could go further to the right from this room, but I couldn't tell because the arrow kind of blended in with this lady statue figurine wall decoration thing. I don't know. So, now I can come off to this area. And this, I believe, just by looking at it, the medallion fits there. Alright, so I only have one half of that, so there's nothing further else I can do. It seems there's another ruby eye in that dude's chest and something bleeding off that table. That looks disgusting. And what the hell is this? Stone plaque. So we've got a cauldron and a flame. Alright, don't know what that's about. Uh, ooh, a key. What is this key? Found a small key. Punishment number 431. For the attempted act of treason of preparing poisoned meat, the castle cooks are hereby punished by being fused into a wall for eternity. We are all prisoners, but some must also take the shape of their prison to understand their sin. Okay. How can it be that the prisoner has become the prison? Um... Think of it like Attack on Titan. It's sort of like that, really. You know, with the way the walls are made and all that. Uh... Cool, that worked. It breathes. There was a face behind that wall. Fresh air, what a relief. Thank you for freeing me from this darkness. I was turned into a window, then they put a wall in front of me. My brother was turned into a door, which they then cut into pieces. It's a punishment we've been suffering for time untold. If you want to get inside the kitchen, you still have to help my brother. Only he can let you in. Find him among many body parts nearby, and he'll be able to let you inside. He has big, wide open eyes, a long nose which lets him smell everything inside the castle. He is also, he is not very talkative though, he, his mouth is always shut. Wait, do I have to actually go scavenge for body parts or like, what do I have, what do I do? Oh, I have to rotate the parts. Okay, well those eyes are wide shut. Those are very wide. Maybe those are the eyes? Maybe? I don't know. Well, that's a no-nose. That's a scrunch nose. That's a broken nose. That's a bulbous nose. And that looks like a long nose. Yeah, I would have to say that's the nose. Um... Well, that's a frowned mouth. Uh... That's a mouth to suck some dick. That's a mouth I would not recommend to suck some dick. That's a mouth in reaction to the other mouth sucking some dick. Uh, that's mouth of disappointment. Uh, that's not the mouth. That looks rather closed. Maybe it's just a mouth of disappointment. Um, <laughs> that's a happy mouth for getting some dick shook. Uh, and that one is rather closed, I guess. Is there nothing else? And that's a kissy face. I did to say that's the closed mouth. Uh, so what are the eyes? Nope, those are angry eyes. I found the wall being's brother. He should let you into the kitchen now. So the other ones weren't wide eyes? Well, I guess those would be more considered sockets, because, like, I guess he has more of, like, lids. Eyelids in this one. Whatever, cool. Into the kitchen we go! Awesome. Right, let's grab that dear lantern. Anything else I can get? Uh, the spoon is cracked. It's useless. That's a spoon. It's a weird-looking spoon. Uh, this thing is rotten beyond hope. I'm afraid it will turn to dust in my hands. A bucket with a hole in it? I don't need it. Alright, cool. Guess that's all we get from there. Um, ooh. A parchment. The recipe for the poison. It seems I am not the only one having a problem with this monster. Alright, so the meat with whatever the hell that is. I guess it's a spider leg. So, put the meat in the leg in the cauldron. Stab the meat with the leg. Feed it to the murder penis. Got it. Feeding the dick. Oh, what's in that? Uh, I fished out a leather belt. Okay, can I put that on? Do I have to be fashionably fashionable when I escape this place? Uh, I found a horn skull. Okay, nothing in there. And I found a second horn skull. Cool. 
And what's this? A skinning knife. Wow, this kitchen just has everything. And I need... It doesn't work. I need to find a device that will light the fire. Okay, well, that would be the furnace. We've already established that. I just need to find a way to light it. Um, so that's everything I can do here, correct? All right. Cool. So let's head back to the furnace. Um, wait, can the ram horns go into the furnace? Because I remember when I pushed the button. Cause, yeah, because if I push the button, those went forward. So what if I do this? Do these fit? Yeah, so they should be able to make a spark, right? Ha ha! I figured it out. The horn skulls can now generate a spark necessary to light the furnace. Gotcha. Now I just need something to throw in the furnace to make a fire. Uh, I mean, could I possibly just throw the lantern in there? No? Didn't think so. That would have been way too convenient. Alright, cool. So... Now I have... What the hell do I have to do now? Do I go down? Because I have a skinning knife. I have the ruby eyes still. I've got the lantern I just picked up and leather belt. Wait, leather belt. Hold on, I got you. I'm picking up what you're putting down, game. I got you figured out. We take this here leather belt. And we put it on this here gear. Yeah, the belt connected the cogs. And it was the missing part. And that is draining the sewer. I got ya. Okay, I figured it out. What is this? That is the other half of the medallion. So now I can go upstairs and put that in the door. Alright, what is this pig snout thing? Oh, it's a periscope. Uh, I can use this periscope to watch the corridor above. Ah. Alrighty then. So what's this on the wall? Uh. <laughs> hmm. Maybe the ruby eyes, seeing that there's already two in here. Cool. Something is missing. Uh, I can't turn it. Also, there seems to be something missing in the center circle. All right, I got you. All right, so let's head back on up. Because clearly I don't have, like, a sphere or anything. Or another jewel, perhaps. That guy is still going happy with that there thingy. Um, so now I gotta go this way. To this door. Put in that medallion. There we are. All righty then. Ooh, what is this? Is there liquid inside that? This gear's turning, that's for sure. Um, hold on. There was something about this, correct? Yeah, this. So it's going in a counterclockwise formation. But it's starting at the top. And then the arrow goes at the bottom. And then here, and then here, and then here. Okay, so... Top, bottom. So top, bottom, upper right, upper left, lower left. All right, hold on. Top. Okay. Bottom. What if I click this out of? Nope. Okay, so it has to be what it's pointing at. Gotcha. So it was this one here. Then this. All right, I got you. Because once it's whited out, it's it's been used. And then three. All righty then. That was rather simple. I mean, it had the note. I, I would have been there for a little bit trying to figure that out. All right, what is this? Picked up a piece of meat. Someone won't be eating dinner tonight. Oh, but it looks so succulent and delicious. All right. The signature at the bottom of the letter looks intriguing. I'll copy it into the notebook just in case. Huh. Okay. The time of judgment has come upon a great number of beings marked by evil. Their place of existence is well known to us, a village called Frozen Tears. The inhabitants once helped us build our castle. The lazy beings did their work reluctantly, then dared to rebel against us in the end. The time for them to remain unpunished is finally over. We have took extra measures to purge this vile place by the purest suffering. For the first time, will we use the paralyzing fog, which will precede our attack, or our, our assault. The helpless creatures will then be wiped out by our amassed forces, supported by the 
freshest recruits joining the castle's ranks specifically for the purpose of this mission. Ah, so a little bit of context in the story then. And this is found a ruby eye. All right, cool. Painting of a ghastly knight. That's a painting? Well, I guess. I mean, that was a giant frame. Looks like a statue to me. All right, cool. So we got ourselves some context. So the inhabitants of the Frozen Tears village built this castle, which the uh, that rodent dude kind of already told us that when we talked to him. So now it seems that the inhabitants of this castle want to purge the lands of them for some owner reason, because I guess they're saying that they're evil or they're full of sin, which has been pointed at i guess because like the nut the guard has been so what do just line these up is that what's going on i guess so oh i get to pick and choose okay before i get into this i want to finish my thought because the, the guard said that uh we were full of sin and like torture and suffering was the only way to purge that from our souls i guess um kind of like a uh you know by fire be purged type thing but what is it about us that's make that makes us sinful though? I don't understand. Like that's the one that's the one burning question that's kind of being lost on us. Oh, so I get to pick and choose what to do. So if I push this button that closes the door, but if I line them up on this side, it opens the door and I guess this would attack the, that would cause the spider to attack the guard. Cuz he did say if the door opens up the spider could attack freely. I kind of don't want to do that. Let's, uh, close that door. Oh, and the little mechanism is working now. The ruby eyes brought the mechanism to life, but I... But have I made the right decision? That's cool. I wasn't expecting that from this game, that they actually give you choices, and that can actually... I don't know if it will alter the game entirely, or... Alright, the door to the spider room seems to be tightly shut now. I can see that the machine extracting the poison is working as well. Alright, we gotcha. Alright. But do these choices actually, like, mold the game? Or is it just for, like... I don't know, different things. Like, different, just different circumstances for the time being. Alright, well, he's still there being all jolly. So now I gotta figure this thing out. Because this puzzle was giving me a hard time, too. Now, it says something about the signature... So, does that correspond with these? I think it does. Alright, so we have triple X, triple T, or uh, double T, I should say. So, triple X, double T, double stanky leg, and an N with a swirl, period, maybe. Alright, so let's triple X, uh, two T's, two stanky legs. And, wait, was that, was that, that was this, right? I would assume it just doesn't have the swirl at the end of it. Yeah, there we go. It wasn't easy, but I finally managed to put the springs in the correct position. Um, I mean, we had the paper. It was kind of simple. All right, so now we got the choice. Do we retract the blades or do we extend them, which causes death? You know what? I kind of don't like that guard, and he seems to be a little too happy with the work that he's doing so uh by blades be purged oh that looks grisly Alrighty then but i think he dropped the key which is something that i need hi buddy live by the sword die by the sword they're more wall spikes not really swords but i mean with the way this room junctions off, how do those blades actually fit inside this? Unless it's just unless it just has to do with scenery. Because I mean, all right, let me pick up the key. I'll explain in a minute. Pick that up. Uh, taking the key with a spider-shaped handle. Gotcha. Okay, nothing else to be done. What about you? I guess you're dead too. All right. So, I'm assuming that this is the room he's in. But this whole section right here is the wall that divides the two rooms. So, 
that would explain it. This is just kind of like there for perspective reasons. I'm not picking it apart or anything. I'm just kind of like, wait a minute. Maybe this is the way. Like, I'm looking at it from another angle. All right, so what do I have here? All right, I have the meat. I have the key. Right, so let's go up to the spider room. Because now that I have the key, I can get in there. And the little guard shouldn't be there either, right? Yeah, the door closed properly. Poison flows through the pipes again. Someone must have fixed the device in the sewers. That'd be me. You're welcome. I'm no longer needed here. I'm going back to my duties. You go to your call of duties. Oh, wait. I gotta do something with you, too. Please open this cage. The court jester had me imprisoned here. All along, he conspired against me. I should have gotten rid of him a long time ago. He can keep me here as long as he pleases, but he can't kill me. He knows very well what will happen then. Help me. I will not forget. That's right. I gotta use the blade on you. Um... Yeah, I'm going to free you because I don't trust the Jester. And there's a second achievement. It gave me an achievement, too, with the um, the blades and the, uh, the spider mechanism as well. So does she happen to sit on the throne? She does. How can it be that someone as corrupted as you could have made a choice so righteous? Maybe because I'm actually not corrupting you. You guys are using that off false speculation. I should have thrown you back into the cage, but I see a grain of humanity in you. In order for justice to be delivered, the jester will be punished according to his crime. Take this coin and use it wisely. Do not ask me for anything again. I am already making an exception for you. Alright, cool. Uh, skull and a face. Taking the gold coin. Alright, cool. Well, um, is that it? This place brings punishment to all evil beings, and you also should meet that punishment. However, for what you have done for me this time, I will let you go. Cool. And the beast is calm. Alright, well, you and Fuzzy Lumpkins can enjoy yourselves there. So let us use this key on this here door. And let us go inside. Hello, Mr. Spider. Uh, what's in here? What is this? Uh, found the remains of a bird's nest. Could I use the bird's nest in the furnace? It's full of twigs. That could be burned. What if I do this? I don't know what the hell you are. Hi, spider. Okay, bye. Uh, alrighty then. What the hell are you? There's an oddly shaped hole in the puppet's head. That's a puppet? Who's pulling the strings? Uh, notes. Someone must have conducted some experiments here. Oh, alright. Let's see what we got. Red, green, and blue. Green, red, and blue. Spider. Blue, green, red. Whatever the hell that is. Red, blue, green. With the skull. Okay. So that color combination is deadly for some reason. What's in this drawer? It is a mechanism. Full of poison, I'm gonna say? All right, so it was red, red, blue, and green. So if I do red, can I rotate this? I can't. Okay. Blue. And green? Ah, crap. All right, let me do that, and then... Okay, there we go. So now if I do this, and then I hit that... Success, the machine smelted the symbol. Ah, gotcha. So, that smelted the Holy Trinity. And then we put the Trinity into the head. There we go. Am I in Jurassic Park all of a sudden? So, there we go. The Tyrannosaurus spider is now eating the puppet. And I guess he fell apart. Something fell from the spider. Picked up a spider's severed leg. How, might I ask, did the spider's leg get severed? Did something... You know what? I'm not even going to question it. I'm going to the kitchen. I'm going to go cook me some meat. Okay. Bye, lady. Off to the kitchen. There we go. Go this way. Further down. Let me in. Alright, so now I do this. I take... You, throw you in there. Take you, throw you in there. Ah, crap, I gotta go back to the freaking furnace and turn it on. Damn it. Alright. 
Well, that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. The meal is prepared. It's not like getting there takes long. So now we go here, and then we go mia. And now we go to the furnace. And now we put the bird's nest into the furnace. Yeah, there we go. That lit it up. That lit it fire. Come on, baby, let my fire. Now we go back into the kitchen and we go cook the meat. Off to the right. Into the kitchen. The meat and the poison's already prepped, so let's boil it. Perfect. The poison's ready. Time to feed the penis beast. Alrighty then. Nobody else is alive, so they can't punish me for cooking the meat. Can't do it. No one's around. No witnesses. The wall guys kind of helped me out too, so... They let me in. They conspired with me. So I have to go this way. And now to the right, I believe. Yes. Alrighty then. Boom. And then... Eat that. The beast has swallowed the poison meat. It shouldn't bother me anymore. Take that. That's what you get. Alright, now I can get to this lever device. And I can... Oh, I see one or the other. So, it closes off the choice. I gotcha. Huh. You know what? I really don't want to impale him because he seemed like an okay guy. So, I'm going to let him go. Was this the right choice? I don't know, but I cannot go back now. I don't see why it wouldn't be. I mean, he doesn't look menacing. Thank you. If we both manage to escape from this horrible castle, let's meet in my hut in the wastelands. There, there you can rest, gather strength for your journey. It will be best if we arrange a special signal for safety so that I know it's you. If you light the lamp hanging in front of my hut, it will be a signal for me to let you in. Meanwhile, I leave you this gold coin as a token of my gratitude. You may not think you may think it's not much, but it may just buy your way to freedom. Good luck on your journey. Ah, see, he's a good dude. Why would I want to impale him? Cool. Alrighty then. Awesome. So now let's go down to the beast pit. Poison I served him melted his insides. Ooh. What's this parchment of paper? Day 12. How could I have been so careless? The key to the chest fell right into the beast's den. I have to recover it somehow. Day 13. I found a ladder that should help me get down here. Now I'll get down there, I should say. Past tense. There all, I, all, there all I need to do is wait for the right moment when the beast is asleep. Then I'll sneak in and take what's mine. Well, it doesn't look like you did much of sneaking. A ninja you are not. So what do I do here? I have to move. Really? I have to move individual pieces? They're just bones, dude. What the hell? Are you serious with this? They're just bones. They weigh nothing. Okay. Like. Seriously with this. I mean, alright. I'm not going to pick it apart or anything, but this is rather silly. This little foot, really? All that just for the key. You couldn't just rummage through the bones. What is that? There's a green light glowing from inside the creature's entrance. Well, can we use this here? Knife! Yes, we can. That's disgusting. Taking a tear shaped emerald. Well, then. That should have some significance. Or some use, maybe. I don't know. Alright, let's head on down. Wow. We are finally outside. Alright. Uh, what's that? A statue. It seems to be for of some kind of cult. I can also see some human figures down there. Who are they? Don't know. I do like how there's so much going on in the back. Like, these guys are moving while. There's all this shit flying out of the sky and crashing into the surface. Hello, Atlas. There's a colossal figure carved in the rock. Really? Alright. Ooh. What's in here? What is this painting? 
There are the symbols of a hammer and a halberd next to the painting. These might be useful later. And Cerberus. Cerberuses? Cerberi? I just hope I won't stumble on this chariot anywhere around the castle. Yeah, that would be bad. Symbol of a weapon. It's been bolted to the pitcher frame. Alrighty then. There are symbols of a bow and a sword on the edges of the picture frame. You better note this down. A creature with a disfigured head. Okay. What are they throwing at me here? And that leads up. I wonder, does this lead to the door that was X'd out that had no keyhole? That it did. I wonder what the purpose of that is. Seeing that I have to go through all of that just to get outside. Why would it allow me access? Oh, maybe because I need to get those symbols at some point? I'm not too sure. Alright, let's head back down. Um, hello, who is you? Have you come to take my child? No, I have not. No, now all I... S no, now I see you're not one of them. Listen as I will be honest with you. The only thing between you and your freedom from the nightmares of this place is the gate behind me. However, it will only open if you feed it three emerald tears. Well, I have one of those. They often materialize in places that have witnessed much suffering. Look for them there. Look at my baby once more. Isn't it wonderful? Yes, I know. It may not be perfect. Do you know the stairs of life have four steps? Childhood, youth, maturity, and old age. My child has stopped on the first of these steps. In order for it to reach the other steps, it needs the three coins of life and death. One coin, one step. I searched for them everywhere, but to no avail. Help my child, and I will help you leave this place. Ah, well, your child is definitely an emerald, given by the glowingness. Um, do I dare touch this cloth? Oh, ooh, hi. Hi, pooch. I've taken down the cloth and accidentally awakened the beast that was sleeping behind it. Uh... Hi. I've awakened the three-headed beast. Approaching the gate is at risk. Is a risk I cannot take. Well then, that's not great. I guess I'm going back up. Um, do I go back in here? Oh, I can go off to the left. Okay, cool. Uh, you are locked. Oh. Every attempt to enter this room sets off a trap. I must find a way to prevent it. Oh, that looks like a cushy chair. Another plaque attached to the wall. Uh, I can't open it. The sculpted skull keeps its gaze on the other door. An instruction manual for the device. So feed a jewel into this device and the Colossus shall raise his arms. He shall lift the very earth in which is rested upon his back. Um, well, I definitely don't have the jewel because I said I needed the the emerald tears for that. But what I can possibly do is take this cloth and do this. Aha! That there opens that there door. Very good. Hello, who's you? Vanity, there is no hope for us. All has been long lost. In a void outside of time and space, we are doomed to ask ourselves questions that will forever remain unanswered. Riddles uncover only more riddles. As what still remains of our sanity dissolves into pitch black emptiness. Do you not see the cruel joke? Please, sit down and witness the inexplicable. Try to find the truth among the never ending questions. Okay. Before I do that, there is a large painting behind the curtain as if someone is trying to hide it. Well, I see the bow and I see the hammer. There's also a chest here. What do you do? I can't move this piece. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, man, I really hate these kind of puzzles. So what do I... Do I want to put that in the corner, though, or does it have to go on the inside? Or do I just have to do this enough to actually reveal... I might have to do that just to reveal the keyhole. Because this might be the keyhole that the dude was talking about in that letter. Alright. I think I gotcha. Maybe. So there's that. 
Nope. These have to go in the center. Okay, I got you. These have to go here. So, all right, cool. I'm going to get you. All right, so that goes like that. You go down, you go up, you go down, you go over. Yep, I got you. I got you. Picking up what you're putting down. Bam. My patience has paid off. Now all I need is a key, which would be this key. The chest is open. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, boy. What is there? It is a jewel. I found a blue crystal. Maybe that can go into the device. There is a kind of suffering in the world that cannot be expressed with tears. It cannot even be described to anyone. Unable to take its own shape, it takes the form of a tear-shaped emerald and settles at the bottom of the heart like snow in the quietest of nights. Okay, then. I gotcha. So now, what is up with you? Oh, one of these. Can I rotate these? Yes, no. What if you go there? And then you go here. You go there. And then you go there. Simple. I've said all the pieces correctly, but it appears that this is not all I need to do. Oh, there's more. Joyness. Um. Well, crap. How do? No, that's not correct. That's not correct at all. None of that's right. Ah, oh, see, if I could rotate these, it would work. Go there. Um... Yeah, none of these are working properly. All right, what if I put you there? Slap you there. You go there. No. Maybe over? Damn it. This isn't working right. What do I do? What do I do? goes where it's this silver piece that's messing me up see if I could rotate these that would fit perfectly let's see huh I have no idea no idea at all. Not at all. Not at all. Or maybe. In... No, that wouldn't make sense. Nope. Nope, thought I had something. Or oh, maybe I do. Oh no, I don't. I can't. Because this fucking thing. Alright. This, I'm going to back out of this. This is going to be confusing. Um... I'll actually get that, I'll try to rearrange that to where I have one piece left to put in, and then I'll pick it up from there, because that looks like it's going to take a little bit of brain power to kind of figure that out, and I think once I get that finished, either he'll leave, or something will happen, and I'll be able to throw this down, which will unveil something that has to do with the weapon symbols, and I can go back and put maybe this jewel here, a blue crystal will work inside... Uh, that mechanism down below or in the other room there. But uh, anyway, I'm going to pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then thrust your mouse upon that like button. Keep playing it awesome, and I will see you all on my next adventure.